Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Journey with Vijay Kumar Srivastava. Today we are going to study the topic Crop Wheat Competition. So let's move to the presentation. First we have to understand what are weeds. Weeds are the plant which grow where they are not wanted or these are undesired plant and grow and make competition with plants for water, nutrients, moisture, light, space, etc. And weeds are playing important role in reducing the crop yields to the extent of 50%. And critical period of wheat competition is falling approximately one by third of the duration of the crop. Crop wheat competition. Weeds are widely adapted to agro ecosystem compared to crop plants. Without interference by man, Weeds would easily wipe out the crop plants, so weed management is compulsory needed to get the desired yields from the cultivation. This is because of their competition for nutrients, moisture, light, space, which are the principal factor of production of crops. So because of competition of weeds with crops, there is reduction in yields. Generally an increase in one kilogram of wheat growth will decrease one kilogram of crop growth. So weeds are playing important role and their management practices are compulsory needed to get optimum yields from the crop cultivation. Now aspects of crop wheat competition. Crop wheat competition occurs in two broad aspects like first one is direct competition and second indirect competition. Under direct competition, the crop is having competition with weeds for nutrients, moisture means water, light and space, while as indirect competition is concerned, the competition through exudation where the roots are releasing the various chemicals exudates which are creating the competition and there is production of allelopathic chemicals. So now we will study in details about these competition aspects. Now we will go through the aspects of direct competition. First one is competition for nutrients. Weeds usually absorb mineral nutrients faster than many crop plants because of their deep root system, because of their capacity to absorb nutrients from soil and their wide adaptability to the adverse conditions also. Weeds are accumulating all those absorbed nutrients in their tissues in relatively larger amounts compared to crop plants. So the timely control of weeds is compulsory needed to get the desired yields from cultivation. Second is competition for moisture. In general, for producing equal amounts of dry matter, weeds transpire more water than do most of our crop plants. It becomes increasingly critical with increasing soil moisture stress as found in arid and semi-arid area. As a rule, C4 plants utilize water more efficiently resulting in more biomass per unit of water. Cynodon dactylon has almost twice as high transpiration rate as permeate bajra. In weedy fields, soil moisture may be exhausted by the time the crop reaches the fruiting stage like the peak consumptive use period of the crop causing significant loss in the crop yields. So the timely wheat control will result in minimizing the water losses and compensation for the soil moisture and it will get the benefit for the crops. Third one is competition for light. It may commence very early in the crop season if a dense wheat growth smothers the crop seedlings. Also it becomes important element of crop wheat competition when moisture and nutrients are plentiful. In dryland agriculture in years of normal rainfall the crop wheat competition is limited to nitrogen and light and unlike competition for nutrients and moisture once wheat sets a crop plant, increased light intensity cannot benefit it. So, competition for light is also one of the important parameters for yielding. 
फोर्थ वन इज कंपटीशन फॉर स्पेस मीन्स कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड क्रॉप विट कंपटीशन फॉर स्पेस इज द रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड एंड द कंपटीशन में अकर अंडर एक्सट्रीमली क्राउडेड प्लांट कम्युनिटी कंडीशन ए मोर इफिशियंट यूटिलाइजेशन ऑफ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड बाई सी फोर टाइप वीट्स मे कंट्रीब्यूट टू देयर रैपिड ग्रोथ ओवर सी थ्री टाइप ऑफ क्रॉप्स Now we will go through indirect crop weed competition, where the allelopathy is one of the important concern. Allelopathy is the detrimental effects of chemicals or exudates produced by one living plant species on the germination, growth, or development of another plant species, or even on microorganisms sharing the same habitat. Allelopathy doesn't form any aspect of crop weed competition. Rather, it causes crop weed interference. It includes competition as well as possible allelopathy. Allelo chemicals are produced by plants as end products, byproducts, and metabolites liberalized from the plants, and they may belong to phenolic acids, flavonoids, and other aromatic compounds like terpenoids, esteroids. alkaloids and organic cyanides in allelopathy allelo chemicals are produced the target species are affected by these toxins in many different ways like it may reduce seed germination these toxic chemicals may reduce seedling growth inhibit shoot growth inhibit root growth and also it may cause inhibition of nutrient uptake and they may attack a naturally occurring symbiotic relationship thereby destroying the plant's usable source of nutrients so these chemicals are playing the role in a different way now we will go through allelopathic effect of weeds on crops like in maize crop parthenium species leaves and inflorescence affect the germination and seedling growth where cypress esculentus species tubers affect the dry matter production in case of sorghum crop the stems of solanum affects germination and seedling growth and the presence of parthenium species leaf senile inflorescence affect the germination and seedling growth where in case of wheat wild oat is a one of the important weeds where the seeds of wild oat affect germination and early seedling growth and if there is presence of parthenium species it will affect general growth and tubers of cypress rotundus will affect the dry matter production and green and dried leaves of arjumon mexicana will affect germination and seedling growth in case of sunflower the dhatura wheat seeds will affect germination and growth and there is also allelopathic effect of crop plants on weeds in other way where the root exudations of maize inhibits the growth of chinopodium album wheat and cold water extracts of wheat extra when applied to weeds will reduce germination and growth of abutilon species now to go through effect of wheat competition on crop because of wheat competition there will be impact on crop growth and yield is affected the crop suffer from nutritional deficiency because weeds are having the higher absorption of nutrients from soil because of their deep root system and wide adaptability to the adverse conditions also because of weed competition there will be reduction in leaf area development and the yield attributes will be lowered what are yield attributes yield attributing characters are referred which are playing an important role in economic yielding like number of tillers number of panicles panicle length number of grains per panicle weight of 1000 grain so these are the characteristics which are contributing to the yield parameters because of weed competition there will be reduction in water used by the crop there will be impact on dry matter production and lower input responses whenever we are applying the inputs like fertilizers it will be taken by the weeds and crop response will be poor 
it will cause in reduction if there is severe competition and crop is not maintained well during critical period there will be significant yield reductions and because of weeds the pest and disease incidence will be more so these are the effect of weed competition now the losses caused by weeds there will be reduction in crop yield because of severe competition there will be loss in crop quality because of admixture of wheat seeds to the crop produce weeds are working as a reservoir of pest and disease because of which the crop will be infested and there will be more plant protection measures required because of high wheat presence there will be interference in crop handling there will be reduction in land value as the weed multiplication will increase year by year there will be limitation of crop choice there are some weeds which are affecting the crop specifically higher range so there will be limitation to grow the crops in such lands there will be loss of human efficiency because of presence of weeds sometimes the weeds are causing the health hazards impacts like parthenium and there will be problems due to aquatic weeds so these are the losses resulting by the weeds now the factors which are affecting the crop weed competition there are various factors like first one type and competitiveness of weed species density of weeds if density is high then it will cause severe competition onset and duration of weed weed crop association growth factors crop density type of crop species and seedling rate a special arrangement of crops plant architectures means morphology of plant growth growth factors availability cropping patterns or cropping practices of the that local area now crop type c3 or c4 plants if c4 plants weeds are there it will cause high competency now crop varieties and its characteristic related to tolerance resistance and aggressiveness then soil factors also impacted like if fertility soil moisture and soil reaction will also create the crop weed competition and climate so these are all factors which are affecting the crop weed competition now we will go through critical period of weed competition critical period of weed competition is defined as the shortest time span during the crop growth when weeding results in highest economic returns means these periods are most susceptible to the weed competition the critical period of weed competition is also defined as the period between early growth during which weeds can grow without affecting crop yield and the point after which weeds growth doesn't affect the yields the critical period of weed competition is around 30 days for most of the crops the critical period of crop weed competition is the period from the time of sowing up to the which the crop is to be maintained in a weed free environment to get the highest economic yield the crop yield level obtained by weeding during this period is almost similar to that obtained by the full season weed free conditions the weed competition in crop field is invariably severe in early stage of crop then at later stages generally in a crop of 100 days duration the first 35 days after sowing should be maintained in a weed free condition so we can say the 1 by 3 of crop age is having the critical period with weed competition the critical period of weed competition is approximately 1 by 3 of the duration of the crop in the most of the cases and it becomes clear that weeds free condition for 2 to 8 weeks in general are required for different crops and emphasizes the need for timely weed control without which the crop will gets drastically reduced now factors influencing critical period of weed competition the critical period of weed competition starts 
with the beginning of interference from weeds and ends with the crop covers 80% of the soil. The length of the critical period of wheat competition depends on various factors like nature of crops, where the crop selection plays important role. If such crops which are covering the soils, it will cause less dominance of weeds and impact will be less. While in case where the weeds growth is dominant, it will cause loss to the crop plants. Now second is varieties. Selection of varieties also playing important role. There are some varieties which are having the less impact of wheat competition and there are some varieties which are susceptible to miscompetition. Now third one is growing conditions like crop maintenance, climatic factors, irrigation sources, good irrigated condition, soil fertility, fertilizer management. So, Growing conditions also deciding the factors for wheat competition during critical period. Now we will go through critical period of wheat competition for various crops. In case of lowland rice, the critical period is from sowing to 35 days. In case of rice upland, it varies from sowing to 60 days. In case of wheat, it is 35 days from sowing. In sorghum crop, it is 30 days. In finger millet crop, it is 30 days from sowing. In pearl millet, 35 days. In case of maize, it is 30 days. In cotton, we have to make it wheat free up to 35 to 40 days. In sugar cane, 60 days. In case of groundnut, the critical period varies up to 45 days from sowing. In soybean also, it is 45 days. In case of onion, the critical period is up to 60 days. In tomato, 30 days. In sunflower, 45 days. In castor, 45 days. In case of sesame, 30 days. And in black gram, also 30 days. So, within this critical period, if crop is maintained weed free and there is well management, there will be minimal impact on yielding or it will give the same yield as in normal conditions. So, the critical period of wheat competition is one of the important crop age during the crop cultivation which is playing very very important role to escape from the wheat competition and getting the highest yields. So this presentation was all about crop wheat competition. Hope this will be useful to all of you. Thank you very much. I have given here my YouTube channel details journey with Vijay Kumar Srivastava. Having request please visit the channel, subscribe it and provide your kind and valuable feedbacks. Thank you.